So can quantum computing help with space travel? It may help us because space travel is limited by the speed of rockets. It takes 70,000 years, 70,000 years, just to reach the nearest star traveling with a Saturn V rocket. We can't explore the universe that way. We need another way to explore the universe. And so how does quantum computing help that? Well, Einstein came up with an idea in 1935. That is, why not bend space and time on itself to give you a wormhole? The Quantum Leap TV show. Uh, the wormholes, okay. So the public is very well versed in wormholes. I mean, we've got it, it who's this guy right here? Um, Dr. Strange. Yeah, sure. Okay. Yep. We got Rick and Morty. Rick and Morty, uh, yep. They both open up portals through the space-time continuum, except Rick does it with actual science, and Dr. Strange uses magic. You know, just but then in the, in the show Quantum Leap, because he was able to go into different, he, he leaped through a, a hole. I threw a hole. Into different time periods. Through a hole. Doc Brown, you got to mention Doc Brown, too. Well, that's just a time machine. 